So EA has finally got done releasing all the ratings for Madden 25 for all the players and regs. I waited all week for all the ratings to get, to get out so I could go ahead and take a look at these. Now I have not looked at any of these. I've only seen like a couple players. We're talking Eagles, by the way. We are looking at the Eagles roster. That's the key thing here. You know I'm here for the Eagles. That's just how this works. So we're going to look at all the Eagles players' regs ratings. Uh, like I said, I've only seen a couple. I think I saw A.J. Brown. I saw C.J. Garner Johnson. But besides them, I haven't seen anybody else's. So uh, they just got – today was the last – uh, positions they had to reveal it was the quarterbacks and it was the I think the inside backers so they just got done revealing all them so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all these guys man you know we got to start off with the QB position you see these are gonna be the QBs this season we got Jalen Hurst obviously Kenny Pickett uh Tanner McGee he's been with us for a little bit and Will Greer I didn't even know we Will Greer was on the team I don't know if he's gonna make the final roster but he's here but uh Jalen Hurst is 86 overall I do not know what he started at last year. I know it was definitely higher than that. Um, I mean, like, I get it. Obviously, he uh, he's going to be lower than he was last year because he had a lot of turnovers last year. But I'm not worried about this rating. You know why? Because uh, throughout the year, the ratings go up. They go down based on how guys play. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, get ready because Jalen Hurst is about to have a master class of a year, another MVP type of year. So that overall is going to be going up. So I'm not worried to start the year 86. I mean, I want it to be a little bit higher because, you know, when you, you're going to use these guys to start the year and you want him to be a high overall. But he does have an X factor, so he should have some solid abilities. I don't think it shows their abilities. It just shows he has an X factor. So, yeah, it doesn't really show. Actually, no, I clicked on the X factor and it does tell me what it is. So Jalen Hurts is running gun X factor. I guess that makes sense. I don't think you can see their abilities, though. I don't see anywhere on here. It just kind of shows the base stats. That's about it. If you know, if you guys know if you can see the abilities on here, let me know. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video, but I don't I don't think we can. He's also got an 89 speed. I'm not usually sure what his speed rating is in Madden. I usually I know it's not usually that good. Uh, his, his abilities last year, I think, in Rex were pretty th good. I think he had, like, Gunsling or something like that, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, they gave Kenny Pickett 81 speed. I think that's pretty generous. I mean, I don't think he's that fast, but 72 overalls. I mean, they, they did Kenny a little rough. I can't lie. Didn't did, didn't Kenny have, like, a winning record with the Steelers? I mean, obviously, he wasn't playing too good, but they were winning games. Tanner McKee is a 57, man. That's uh, that's tough for the boy Tanner, man. I don't I don't know how many years he's been in the league now, but he's I think he's, like, this is, like, his second, third year or something like that, so... Yeah, he's still 57. That's tough. Next position group we're looking at is tight ends. We're just going like right down the list. The tight ends were next to you, which is weird. You think it'd be running back, but it's not. It's tight ends. So Dallas Goddard is a 85 overall. I got to say that's pretty criminal. In my opinion, that's criminal. Jalen Hurst, it is what it is. I'll deal with it. I know that's going to go up. But Goddard, I mean, you this probably ain't really going to change a whole lot. So 85, that's kind of rough, man. I feel like he's a really solid tight end year in, year out. But you know, he just, I guess he just doesn't get his respect. He's got 86 speed, which honestly, I, if I'm not mistaken, he's usually like around like 84 speed, 83 speed. So they definitely gave him more speed than he normally does. So I guess that's a W, but they did him dirty with the overall, man. Our tight end two, CJ Uzuma, Yuz, I can never say his name. I think he was, he was with the Bengals, I think he was with the Jets. So I, I think IRL, I think he's actually going to be like a solid backup tight end, which is really good because I'll be honest, we really need that because... When Goddard be getting hurt, we don't be having another tight end. So I think he's going to be a really solid guy. He got a 74 overall, I guess. I think that was, I think that's pretty rough on him, too, to be honest. Uh, tight end there, we got Albert O. Madden, legend, by the way, IRL. I'm surprised he didn't really play that much for us last year, but he is a fast tight end, 88 speed, so he should be pretty good. And then we got, you know, we got Calic We already know he sucks. And Rick Lovato, which I. Isn't he, like, just a special teams guy? I mean, I guess they got to give him some position, but 32 overall is absolutely fucking cr I, I don't know if I've ever seen, like, a guy this low of an overall, a 32 overall. I mean, holy shit. Right tackle. Lane Johnson is a 95 overall. I don't see why he can't be, like, a 97. I feel like he could be higher. I, this is, like, I don't know. He's, like, literally one of the best right tackles in the league. It's, what, him, Tristan Warps, uh... Who else? Penny Sue Will's nice. I'm just trying to think of nice right tackles. But I'm taking Lane Johnson over, over all of them, obviously. But 89 strength? Why do they always give Lane such bad strength to Madden? I don't understand. They act like he's weak. For right guard, they got Tyler Steen as our starting right guard. I don't know if he's actually going to be our starting right guard going into the season because we got so many different linemen and guys that could play different places. Uh, he might probably wind up being right guard, but we'll see. Uh, they got him at a 69 overall though. What was he? What did we get him in the second round last year? I don't. I don't remember. I think we drafted him in the second round. That's pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. That's a. Uh, that's not a good sight to see from a starting lineman. Left tackle. They got Jordan Melados listed at an 89 overall. 
An 89 strength. Yo, they're doing this a little dirty on some of these strengths. I can't lie. But 89 overall. Um, I mean, I guess I'll take it. Left guard, Landon Dickerson. They have him listed at an 85 overall. I'm not going to lie. This one is straight up criminal. Landon should not be an 85. He's one of the best left guards in the NFL. I, I think he should be like, he, he's got to be in the 90s. I don't care if it's 90 flat, but he should be somewhere in the 90s. He's one of the best left guards in the game. This one, this one's definitely criminal. This is a, uh, this is a hate crime. Uh, Matt Hennessy is backup. I thought Matt Hennessy was a center. I don't even know, but I guess I see that's what I'm saying. We got guys that can kind of play everywhere. He's a, he got a 70. I know he was a starter for the Falcons, so that's, that's nasty. Is he, is he, is he's not, he's not that good, or is the Madden rating? They messed up with his Madden rating too. For our final offensive line position, we got center uh, Cam Jurgens. They 70 overall, so we got. I go our line has got some rough spots, man. Uh, at least you know, not iron. Our, our line should be a beast, but in the game. Man, right guard and center is looking uh, it's looking kind of nasty. But yeah, Jurgen should not be a seventy either. I think he should be like he he should be in the eighties. I'm not saying like a high eighty, but like maybe like an eighty flat, eighty one, eighty two, something like that. They acting like he's never played before. He's been out there. He played. He didn't actually play center for us, but the guy the guy's playing. He looks good. So that. I'm gonna lie. Somebody's offensive line ratings. I'm not a fan of. Now on to the running backs. Man, this is where it gets spicy. Saquon Barkley, man, coming in at a 92 overall. I'm not sure what his rating was last year, but I mean, I can't say this is a good or a bad rating because he's got an X factor. I'm not sure what abilities and stuff he's gonna get. His X factor is first one free. I really wish that we could see the abilities, but uh, he's got 92 speed. I mean, he, he's going he's gonna to be nasty. There's no doubt about it. Should he be a high? I, he definitely shouldn't be lower. There's no way he should be lower. But should he be higher? I'm really trying to think. Like, the, the fact that he's been the Giants pretty much only offense since he's been there. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like he could be a little bit higher. Maybe like a 94. You know, I, two more overalls. I think a 94 wouldn't have hurt him. They got Kenny G at a 76 overall. I, I, I'm good with that. That's pretty accurate. Uh, Will Shipley, this is the running back we drafted. I've heard he's looked pretty solid. So, yeah, I mean, shit, he's got, he's, you know, when you got to you're in the same back for the sake one, you're going to learn a thing or two. So, I don't know who the hell Tyron Davis Price is, and I don't know who Lou Nicholas is. So, I don't know those two guys, but uh, it's a little weird not seeing uh, Boston Scott in here, man. That kind of sucks. He was a. Uh, Eagles legend. This is our last position for offense. We got the wide receivers. Wide receiver number one, obviously, A.J. Brown. Let me see his X-Factor real quick. Max Security. I think that's what he always gets. Uh, man, I wish we could see the abilities, man. It pisses me off. But A.J. Brown, 95 overall. I'm honestly fine with the overall. Um, I just think he should personally be a higher overall than C.D. Lamb. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think C.D. Lamb is like one overall higher than him. So I think he should have been higher than him. But whatever. I'll take a 95 overall. Uh, 90 speed. I mean, it's pretty accurate. AJ Brown's definitely not a speedster by any means. Uh, 90 speed is still really good. I'm good with AJ's rating, but Devontae Smith in 88, that's not going to work for me. He, Smitty's got to be a 91. Smitty's got to be a 91, no questions about it. And I think he should be a little bit faster. I think he should be a little bit faster than 91 speed because Smitty is a pretty fast guy. Um, I, they messed it up. I get it. Like, you know, you, AJ takes a lot of the shine, but Smitty's a guy. And if Smitty was on any other team, he'd easily be. He's a talk, he just be, he would be talked about so much more. Another criminal rating for the Smith, uh, Paris Campbell. That's gonna be our watch for three this season. I've heard he's looked really good. I forgot where he's been at. I think he was was he, was he with the Colts. I don't remember, but he's he's he. I know he's supposed to be a speedster. He's like a seventy-five. I think that's pretty accurate. I don't know who the hell Anaya Smith is. Johnny Wilson. That name is ringing bells. Where have I heard that name? That that name is ringing bell. Uh, we got Covey. I don't understand. Like they we get like. Covey's a return man, right? And he'd be getting like 80. He'd be getting like slow as shit ratings of Madden. But like, I mean, like, I'm trying to think like when he returns kicks, like he looks kind of fast. Like you got to give him some speed. Like the guy's a return man. And not to mention he had a really good year returning this year. He, I think he led the league this year on the average kick return or punt return. Well, one of those things. He like had the highest league average. So he definitely had a good year return. He didn't get, get a chance to return in the end zone, but came pretty close. We're officially on to the defense now. We're going to start off with middle linebackers. And the first thing I see is here, I don't see Devin White. So I'm assuming they have him listed as a outside backer. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, I guess we're going to see. But we got N'Kobe Dean as the highest rated one. 73 overall at 87 speed. That is... um. That's rough. Yeah, so, whew, I mean, obviously, you know, we're going to have Devin White playing in the middle, but, you know, who's playing next to him? The Kobe, we got Trotter Jr., who I think, 
I know people, I think he got carted off the one day, but I, I heard it was just cramps. I don't know who Brandon Smith is. Ben Van. I think this guy, this Ben guy, is like, he was, he was like a really late draft pick or undraft. I, I really don't remember, but 91 speed is fucking crazy. He's got, uh, I mean, you know, it's probably going to be N'Kobe that's going to be our actual second backer. It's just, the question is, can N'Kobe stay out there, man? I mean, it's just, it always hurt. I'm good with all these overall ratings, though. I think they're pretty accurate. The speed on Trotter, though, is pretty nasty. I didn't know if he, I don't know if he's actually that slow, but if he is, goddamn. Next up, we got the cornerbacks, and we have a lot of corners. Holy shit. Starting off with Big Play Slay. He has officially fallen out of the 90 overall group. Are we serious? Wow, I can't believe this. He fell, he fell out of it. I don't, he had a good year last year. <laughs> I'm lost. I mean, yeah, the, the, most of the defense looked like shit. There's only like a couple standout guys, but he was definitely one of them. Darius Slay played really good. So I don't I don't see why he couldn't keep his 90 rating, but it is what it is. They gave 91 speed. I think he's usually a little bit fat. Man, they acting like Slay's getting worse, but he's still having good year. Whatever, you know it is what it is. You know how they are. Uh, James Bradbury getting an 80 overall is blasphemy. That they they could have put him at a 60 for all I gave a fuck. And I know they're trying to turn Bradbury into a safety now, which makes zero sense to me because this man cannot tackle for shit. So. I don't, I don't know what's going on there, but I, God forbid, I do not want to see him playing. So I don't want to see him on the field. They got Isaiah Rodgers at a 79 with 94 speed. He's going to be a big sleeper. I feel like it's a good overall because obviously he didn't play last year because of the whole uh, the gambling thing. But he could be a big sleeper, uh, which I think that's the reason why they're trying to put Bradbury in safety because they know Rodgers is probably going to be playing corner two for us uh, next to Slay. We'll see, though. Uh, they got Maddox at a 76. I really don't like that. I mean, I get Maddox has a lot of injuries and stuff, but when he's out there, he is he's a very good player. So I'm not a big fan of that rating. I think he could I should I think he should be like an 84 or uh, 83 or something like that. I, if you just ask me, and the fact they gave him 90 speed, he's literally like one of the fastest players on our defense. So that's so yeah, some of this stuff is just not adding up, man. It's not adding up. Quinion Mitchell, they got it at 76. Um I mean, he's a rookie, so I can't really say, like, if it's a good rating or not. He hasn't played a snap in the, NF in the NFL yet, but they got him at 94 speed. He's They got him faster than Maddox. I don't... I mean... Shit, I, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Cooper DeGene, they got a 75... 92 speed okay so we got we got some we got some dbs with some speed this year madden man we got some dbs with some speed they got kelly ringo at a 74 and 94 speed jesus christ now mind you these guys are tall the gene is what six two kelly's uh six two i think quinion's six foot or six foot one so like we definitely got some size out there at their corner man i don't know who the hell tyler hall is or we know zach mcpherson uh eli ricks damn they got him at a 65 that's tough uh josh job trash mario goodrich he is still on the team. I'll be honest with you, man. There's no chance to hell he make the final roster. Next, we're going to be looking at the left outside linebacker and the right outside linebacker. I just combined both position groups. Uh, and they got Devin White at a 75 overall. Now, I'll be honest. He for sure had a down year last year. And I also don't know why he's listed as a right outside linebacker. In 88 speed? I don't... That also doesn't make sense to me. Isn't that, that, that thought Devin White was supposed to be like, you know, one of the fastest backers in the league and stuff, so... I'm not sure what's going on there, but a 75 rating is crazy low. I mean, he did not have a good year at all last year. Um, I would have been, I don't know, 75 is crazy low. I, I feel like we could have boosted that a little bit, like maybe like a 79, maybe like an 80 flat and 88 speed. I, I, I thought this guy was fast. I mean, I, I, that's not slow for like, you know, linebacker numbers, but like he was always like labeled like one of the fastest backers, one of the most athletic in the league. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, Zach Bond, I think he was from the Saints. He's 72. That sounds about right. Uh, I, 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 always, I don't know how to say this guy's name, but uh, this is a rookie we drafted, Hunt. I've heard he looks really good. He's been looking really good. So excited about that. Uh, Oren Burks, I don't know the fuck that is. Patrick Johnson still on the team. I'll be honest, like no disrespect to Patrick Johnson, but I, what the what what does he exactly contribute? Because like every time he's on the field, like he, he he doesn't really do shit. Now we're looking at the defensive line. I combined all of them: the left ends, right ends, D tackles. They're all in here. We're gonna look at all the linemen, and we don't have a single lineman over not even 85 overall. For obviously, for what I'm seeing right here, this is this is a little crazy. I don't understand what's going on here. I mean. No, I don't. I don't. Jalen Carr should be like 85. He, he should be like 85. He should be 85. I don't get it. I mean, like, when crazy his rookie year, showed that he's going to be a beast. Whatever. Uh, Josh went at 81. I, I'll be I'll be fine with it. He started the year off hot last year, and then he cooled off like crazy. So I'm going with that. Brandon Graham at 80. I don't know. I feel like he should be a little bit higher. Yeah, he doesn't start. But when he comes in the game, he goes crazy. So I don't know. Not, not like anything crazy, but maybe like a 
I got 82 or 83. I got Bryce Huff at a 79. This is the guy that is going to be taking Hassan Reddick's spot. Now, I can't really speak on what his overall rating should be because I don't watch the fucking Jets. But I do remember when we played the Jets, that name was popping up a lot. So, hopefully, uh, you know, this is just mad and not knowing ball. And this guy is not, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they got Jordan Davis at a 78. I'm good with that. I'm not really going to. Mills at a 74. Mills should be higher. I'll make a play on you. Mill Williams is a... He is a god like D-Tackle. Doesn't get the credit because he was in the same room with Fletcher Cox, Jordan Davis, Jalen Clark. So his name doesn't get popped up. But, man, I remember when we drafted a guy, I was excited about him. And, you know, it just sucks because he's just in a room with, you know, all these other big names. So his name doesn't get talked about. But So I get why they gave him a 74. But realistically, Milton should be like a solid 79, maybe even an 80. I really don't care. I'm just going to be, I'm, I'm going to say it. Uh, Nolan Smith, they got a 73. I'm good with that. He didn't really get to play last year. 92 speed, though. That is at the end. Yeah, that's, you love to see that. Julian Akbar. Oh, was this the, this is that D10. No, no, I'm thinking of Ojimo. I don't know who Julian Akbar. I don't know the name. I don't, I don't know who the fuck that is. We got, oh, this, 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 this guy always sucks. He comes in the game. He just doesn't do shit. Uh, Terrell Lewis, I don't know who you are. Uh, Thomas Booker, I don't know who you are. Uh, this is the Ojimo guy. Uh, he played a little bit last year. I don't really remember him too much, but. Yeah, and the last two guys, I don't know who you are. So, yeah, the D-line, uh, man, I feel like our D-line took a big hit in, uh, for, you know, for Madden. This is our very last position group here for defense, and it is the safeties. They got CJ Garner Johnson at 84. That is fucking wild. I mean, I get it, Like, he was hurt last year. He didn't play until, like, the end of the playoffs, but hell no. that That's that, that's going to go up this, this year. There's no way that stands. He We all know he should be way higher than that. Uh, Blanket shit up at a 77. I'm fine with that. I can't really, you know, Sidney Brown, I'm good with that. Tristan McCullum, I think he was a, I want to say, I don't know if he was a rookie last year or was his second year in the league last year. I really don't know. He's a pretty young player. He didn't play for us last year. And we do, I just realized we do not have a lot of saves on the depth chart. Now, granted, we're going to have guys that might be able to play different, like, you know, to try to get Brad Brady to play a little bit of safety. You know, Cooper DeGene can kind of play everywhere. Hell, so we really got a lot of guys that could play everywhere because, you know, CJ could play the slide. He could play down the box. He could play up top. Yeah, sa same thing with Sydney. Sydney could play down low. He could play up top. He could play some slide. Like, we got, we got, we honestly got a lot of D backs. That could play so guys, some guys can play slot, they could play up top, they could play in a the box, they could play everywhere. So that's that is pretty good. So we do kind of, you know, I can't say I guess the safety room's thin then because a lot of these guys can move around. This is our last uh two positions here. Punter and kicker. They got Jake Elliott at 83. No, I uh, Jake Elliott should be on a I'd say like a 95. And you know, I he's literally arguably the best kicker in the game besides Justin Tucker. And I think uh, Elliott had a better year last year than Tucker. So I, I don't know why, you know, I feel like LA doesn't get respect. Doesn't even show their kick power on here. Well, they just, they, these guys just show the goddamn same stats for everything. But uh, Brandon Mann is, was that the, what punter did we have? Was Brandon Mann good? I don't remember. Because then we had that one punter. No, that was Sipos. I still think Sipos is the one that's fucking ass. I think it was. Was Mann good? I don't know. We definitely, punter's ass, but LA should be like a 95. Those are all the Eagles ratings for, uh, Reg's ratings for Madden 25. Now, the thing is, these ratings do not correlate to mutt because a lot of times guys see stuff like okay this means they're the you know the, the you can kind of predict what correlate they're going to get and stuff it really doesn't we've seen this year and year now it, it really has no correlation uh and actually starting to speak of you know actually madden 25 mutt i don't know if you guys can notice but you can actually play madden 25 right now now i'm i don't i don't know i don't know how you do it because they told me you because you can download it right now so i downloaded it you know, you try to go in there, it doesn't work. They told me you got to, like, you know, go on your phone and, like, stream it onto the phone, try to go in. It didn't work for me. The point I'm making is people are actually playing Mad 25 Ultimate Team right now. Now, don't, you're not missing anything out because anything you do on it right now is going to reset. But you can actually get on there right now. Uh, I don't have too much information on how the stuff works and all that. But if any of you guys have more, uh, any more information how to get on there, you guys can comment down below and uh, let us know. Maybe I'll try to get on there and see if we got any, uh, See some Eagles cards we got going on. That's pretty much it for this video, though, man. If you guys did enjoy the video, man, drop a like. If you're not already subbed, man, definitely drop a sub. We got all the Eagles content coming, man. You know we're going to be running the Eagles theme team at Madden 25, just like always. And I might even play a little bit of franchise in Madden 25. I saw, like, the little deep dive they did it and talked about it. And I've never really played franchise like that. I'll be honest. I really have. And even, like, in Madden 24, a couple times, we did, like, a, we did, like, a little online franchise with some of the homies. And I, I'll be honest. I just got on there and played a game and got off it. 
I didn't really like dabbling or really pay too much attention to it. And even when I did the little 2010 Eagles franchise, I just got on there, played the game, and that was it. Like there wasn't too much to it. And uh, after playing, you know, college football's dynasty and really kind of playing the stuff, I kind of enjoyed the little franchise stuff. So I might dabble in that a little bit. We'll see. But you know, we're definitely gonna be on that mud, making things happen with the Eagles theme team. So if you want to see more of that, you ain't sub. Definitely go ahead and drop the sub. Till next time, though, man. I'll see y'all in the next one.